What's good everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to be teaching how to do the liquid explosion effects that you've just seen in the clip. Before we start the video, I'd just like to ask everyone to like and subscribe to support the channel to for me to make more videos like this and uh, let's get straight into it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is Roto Brush or Mask Out, one of the two. The Artist, right, whatever you want in front of the liquid explosion and have it in the top layer. I typically recommend roto brushing around 12, 10 to 12 frames, as that's like the ideal length for the effect without making it too long. And having another 12 frame layer under it without any roto brush or mask. All right, once you have that, you're gonna add like a beat shake on the beat for it. Here I just made a simple one using Sapphire Shake. Looks something like this. All right, it's really small. I just did it like from scratch, it's just one effect, but uh, it should work. And so the first effect you're gonna wanna use, right? This is really like the most important part of the liquid explosion effect is a turbulent displace. It's not a plugin, it's built right into After Effects. As you can see, it makes the background like all distorted and stuff, right? So to give it that really liquidy look, you wanna add like the setting around like 200, right? You can change the size a bit to make it look Smaller or bigger, I'm gonna have around 75. I'm gonna make it turbulent smooth. So, you know, has that nice liquidy effect to it. And the next effect you're gonna wanna add is optics compensation, right? Now make sure you tick this box, reverse lens distortion, and we're gonna have it at around 150, right? This is what it gives it that like explosive look, that look of just like an explosion, as opposed to just like the turbulent displace, right? You wanna keyframe both the amount on this one and the field of view on this one. Go to the end, just set them both to zero real quick. All right, so now you have this, you should have this like really simple version of the effect. You should put something like this. All right, real simple, no color on it yet, just the explosion, All right? You've got the, the zoom and the turbulent displays, All right? If you want a different look than this, you can switch the turbulent displays and the optics compensation around. Looks more like this. But for now, we're just going to leave optics compensation under turbulent displace. And the next effect you're going to want to add is Video Copilot's VC Color Vibrance, right? I'm going to have a link to this plugin in the description. It's really helpful for making colorful effects like this. As you can see, it makes everything greenish. All you set it to. In this case, we're going to be using red, just like this video. And you want to keyframe this vibrance thing. And bring it over here to the end, set it to zero. So now it should look a bit more like, like that, like a typical liquid explosion, right? If you want to make it less reddish, you can either make the color a bit lighter, or just change the vibrance and make it start out a bit less. But it's going to look red anyway, because the next thing we're going to add is any sort of glow you like, really. I use Deep Glow. I'll also have a link to that in the description. It's my favorite glow. It's the most useful glow, in my opinion. It's got all sorts of customizable features. It just looks the best. It's really smooth. And I'm just going to use default settings here. Just keyframe it from 1 at the beginning. Put that over to 0. And now you should have a liquid explosion. Now, this isn't the limit of what you can do right now. I just showed you the very basic liquid explosion, the most basic you can get. Right, bread and butter, these four effects. And now I'm going to show you guys how you can twist it up. The, so you start with these four effects, and you're going to want to add another built in effect to After Effects twirl. Or you're going to take it here, and you're going to put in between optics compensation and turbulent displace. Set this to around 200 right here. You're going to want to keyframe it and bring it to the end. Now it should look something like this. Right, that looks pretty sick. It's like a like a warp tunnel kind of thing. And in order to get rid of this like odd looking kind of like twisty thing at the end, you don't want to go into the graph for it. Okay, right? click on the click on this line after selecting the keyframes. Click on this thingy. Just make it look something like this, so that it like goes into the end faster. All right, and now it should look a bit better.
Right, that looks pretty clean. Right, another thing you can do, you can add any sort of hue effect you want to the liquid explosion. I'm going to use the yeah, again Sapphire plugin, USAP, right? Just keyframe the hue, bring it to the end, and bring it all the way around for a rainbow effect. You can see that makes it look pretty clean as well. It may depend on your clip, whatever look you're going for, but I think rainbow liquid explosions are pretty cool. Just add a nice, like, trippy touch to it. And, uh, yeah, you can do it with or without it, right? Any of this is customizable. You can also do it without the twirl. That's the kind of look you're going for. Uh, another way you can replace twirl is with yet another sapphire thing. S underscore warp puddle, right? Pretty sick effect. I'm going to make this negative 0 0.1. Frequency should be around 2. Relative height, 1-ish. Phase speed, around 3.5. Outer radius, like 2,000-ish. Inner radius, 500. Inner softness can be around 400, right? These kind of settings, so maybe make the outer radius a bit more. And uh should have this kind of look where it's like a like a puddle, a drop of water. Right, so you can keyframe the amplitude and just bring it here to the end. Now it could look something like this. So it really looks like it's like punching the screen. Could also have it under optics compensation. That's the kind of look you're going for. just make it look in the middle but uh yeah honestly you can make you can make all sorts of effects by just moving these these things around right you can even add a twirl to the puddle as well make it look pretty sick but yeah liquid explosions are like just one of my favorite effects because you can do so much with them you know they never get old you know you can make a new one each video and it just all looks pretty sick color doesn't matter they always just look amazing. Play around with the settings, you get some new every time. And uh, I will be leaving the project file in the description in addition to this tutorial, right, with all of these effects. So when you make a preset or something, you can get rid of the twirl. You can have work portal out of there, whatever you like, whatever kind of look you want to go for. And uh, yeah, see you guys in the next one. Make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. And stay tuned for more content.